Welcome to the uh, lesson on protein shakes. And first off, it's like which protein powder do I use? And I tend to just focus on what I've, what other people are doing. And in Hippocrates, they sell a certain, they literally only sell two brands, Garden of Life and also Sun Warrior. And what I've also noticed is that they don't have any stimulants in it. So that might be a cacao. So they believe that a, a stimulant less lifestyle and diet is better. Um, but then you might go to see David Wolf and he swears by cacao. So, but you know, you have to make the choice that's best for yourself. Uh, for me, I quite like the protein uh, powder, which is the classic Sun Warrior, and that's vanilla flavor. Um, they've also done a mocha, which I have tried, which is quite tasty. They also do a natural, and then you can add your flavorings later, like cinnamon or vanilla powder or something like that, if you don't like that particular taste. So the main thing is, is just to make sure you find a good plant-based um, protein powder that hasn't got loads of fillers and loads of other stuff that's kind of chucked into it and binders and all sorts. So, you know, a good plant-based organic um, raw, and this is sprouted brown rice uh, protein powder, but then you've got sprouted pea, you've got all sorts of different things that you can use. So there's two times I'll use a, um, a protein shake. And sometimes I literally just add a scoop of the powder into a shaker bottle and give it a shake with some water. And that's uh, as simple as it needs to get. And the reason why I do that sometimes is because if I'm trying to sort of get more proteins in the body, then I've learned that it only takes 45 minutes for that to fly through your, your digestion. Um, and if I'm buffering up to lunch or just about to have dinner, but I fancy the, something, then I'll just put a protein shake together with water because I'm not going to be sitting there going, oh, I feel so full, I'm trying to eat my dinner or trying to eat my lunch. So that's just a little quick protein shake you can have, add water. Because uh, even if you add the protein powder with an, with an almond milk or a nut milk, I tend to feel quite full after that. So that's option number one. Option number two is to actually blend it up and get, get a bit more of a meal out of it. If I'm run out of time for lunch and I've got to go out for meet somebody or something, then I'll create a bit of a meal experience with a protein shake. And what I put in there is the one, one and a half scoops of protein powder. You can add some kind of nut milk, uh, so almond milk, and you know, I put a teaspoon of chia seeds in there. I might put a few sprouted pumpkin seeds in there. Uh, if you can have Brazil nuts, and I can't have Brazil nuts because it creates an inflammatory response in the body. So Brazil nuts or Brazil nut milk is another option. Some powders, so I sort of whack a teaspoon of maca powder in, and I believe it's like um, sort of a, a warrior's powder, the maca powder. So and particularly if you're feeling stressed, it's a good hormone balancer. So maca powder, I sometimes add into it and I add that into my wife's protein shakes as well. Some flax, uh, uh, milled flax, flaxseed is another option. Um, a few almonds, if you haven't got any nut milk, just whack a few almonds in there, that can sort of thicken it up. Uh, I add a bit of Udo's oil sometimes. If you're using a non-flavored protein powder, then some stevia just to sweeten it up and turmeric again, and maybe some cinnamon and some carob. So in below this video, I'll just put a list of all these things. So you can just choose and sort of blend up your concoctions to, to make something taste uh, great for you too. Uh, the final one there was vanilla powder. And so that's it for protein shakes. I might have one or two of these a day, and sometimes I don't have any. So it depends on your level of activity, how you're feeling, and you'll just gauge that for yourself. 